Sorry, too. <laughs> Do these women look angry at me? <laughs> because they claim to be from Scotland. <laughs> and most Scottish women are. <laughs> In my experience, angry at me. Please state your name and where you're from. My name's Sarah Jane and I'm from Glasgow. Helen and I'm from Glasgow. I'm Michelle and I'm from Glasgow also. Didn't get a word of that. Did you get any of that? <laughs> yes. Well, let me ask you, ladies, if you're from Glasgow, which subway stop would I take to get off at Byers Road? Hillhead. Hillhead is the correct answer! <laughs> from Glasgow. All right, then. What part of Glasgow are you from? I live in the West End, so... You live in the West End, the trendy bit. Outer West End, yeah. Outer West End. Dumbarton Road. Dumbarton Road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever go to the ubiquitous chip? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I used to be a barman there. It's very nice. Yeah, it's nice, yeah, it's nice yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing here in California? It's on a little road trip. A ro uh, uh, road trip? <laughs> A road trip? Have you got a car? <laughs> on Thursday. Oh, you're getting a car on Thursday? Yeah. Uh, what kind? No, don't you probably not, you can't say. <laughs> oh, probably not. <laughs> they can? They can. not Well, good luck on your road trip with an unspecified car. <laughs> Is this your first time in California? Yeah. yeah. Let me tell you what you should be saying while you're here. <laughs> first of all, this is not a real talk show. <laughs> Secondly, not everyone in Scotland gets to do this. <laughs> Although most of them do. <laughs> Would you like a talk show? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how enthusiastic I was when I was asked if I wanted to. <laughs> how long are you going to be here? We're here for five nights. In LA. In, in LA, nights. and then we go to San Francisco. San Francisco, there you are. You'll meet a lot of nice boys there. <laughs> You will. <laughs> you will. They're, they're love. Have you ever been here before? No. 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 <laughs> People often say to me, Craig, where did you get the ability to speak for great lengths of time without having anything to say? Well, you see, <laughs> here's what happened. I was raised by women like these. <laughs> If you want to get friendly with a Scottish woman, you better know how to talk. Because they won't be doing any of that. Until they're ready. And then they don't stop. Am I right or wrong? Uh, anyway, good news, everyone. I, uh, the CBS are going to send you to a restaurant for free. Where's it going to be? Sewer. 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 Do you ever watch the uh, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Yeah. That's Love Lisa it. Vanderpump's restaurant. Sewer. Is that's her restaurant? And you wait, wait. We don't know if it's any good. So you go. Oh, it's a great restaurant. No, you you can go uh, for free because they're going to pay, and then come back and tell us if it's any good. We'll be here on Saturday. <laughs> Here well, you see, here's another problem. I don't know how to end things with Scottish women. So here's what I usually do. It's not use me. Sponsored by Prudential. Every challenge is an opportunity. Prudential, bring your challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
TV Quick Version. Thanks, everybody. That's fine. Great. Great, yeah, it's all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks a lot. Very believable. Really enjoyed it. It was the most convincing part of the evening, don't you think? Boy, they quite. Uh, I love really it. With that. See, the thing is, what you don't see at home. Well, there's a lot of things you don't see at home. <laughs> For example, my zebra system. <laughs> oh, you've seen them now. Looking for some big game. <laughs> <laughs> no, what you don't see at home is the audience, they've been told they better sound good by the warm-up comedian. We told him a comedian, he's not really a comedian, but the warm-up comedian. He says, you better sound, so they sound great. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in their eyes, I can see that dead look in their eyes. Hi, hi, hi. We hate you, we hate you. Hi. But then when I did this, I saw the lust in their eyes. Right. Folks love, folks love that. Now I have to say uh, before I continue, it, it, there, it's not actual zebra. Uh, this is not zebra. No. I don't, don't, it's, we're cool, man. It's not a, it's not actual zebra. I wouldn't wear actual zebra. The uh, zebras are just horses anyway. <laughs> are they zebras just horses? I look forward to your. I look, no, how the hell would you know? You don't know anything. <laughs> No, they, they, uh, zebras uh, are just, I think horses just wearing onesies. <laughs> right? I don't know. True. That's scientifically accurate. That is yeah. scientifically accurate. Take that, Discovery Channel. Anyway, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> however, however, not a great day for a naturalized American. Not me. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Am I saying it properly? Yeah, that's correct. Will you say it? Arnold right? Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> Over the weekend, his son Patrick, what, how's his, what's his son Patrick's name? Hey, uh, Patrick Schwarzenegger. Yeah, right. <laughs> he was kicked out of a nightclub in Hollywood. Apparently, Patrick threatened the DJ, and there was a chaotic scene, and security rushed in and said, Which one of you is Schwarzenegger's kid? And 50 people were like, uh... <laughs> See what I did? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. I took the celebrity and I, I had a go at them. Yeah, bam. Yeah, bam. Yeah. There's your late night right there. Bam. That's the thing. Thanks a lot, guys in the band who aren't there. <laughs> Why I make a thing out of that? They're never there. Yeah, it's very sad. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember I told you, like, uh, over the weekend, the, uh, the, one of the toilets, I got more than one toilet in my house, ooh, swanky, uh, but one of them blew up and yeah. covered uh, the house in poo. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't me, I didn't run around doing it, it, had, it was a complete accident. Anyway, I thought, well, whose weekend could be better, th uh, worse than that, worse than that. Yeah, worse than then that. I thought, then I find out about the Rolling Stones, did you hear about this? Oh, dear. Over the weekend, the Rolling Stones played here at LA at the Staples Centre, but they had to cut their ticket prices in half to fill the seats. And I'm thinking, well, I guess people in LA were thinking, well, if we wanted to go to the Staples Centre to see old guys shuffling around past their prime, we'd go and see the Lakers. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, yeah. Boom! <laughs> yeah, that's right, I said it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like the audience is all like, we are diehard sports fans. No, you're not. No. Oh, Craig, how can you say that? We're, we've never been to a Lakers game. <laughs> you know, the, a woman in Hong Kong uh, named Virginia, this is a true story. A woman in Hong Kong named Virginia is threatening to take action against Starbucks because a Starbucks employee wrote vagina on her cup. <laughs> <laughs> I know, the woman is supported in a lawsuit by her friends Midoris and Flabia. <laughs> yeah. You see what I did? Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, here's the thing. A couple of people went, ooh, and a lot of guys were like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. What, what is uh, Midoris? What, why is that game? To, what's a Midoris got to do with a vagina? And Flabia? What's a Flabia? Is that one of them Game of Thrones things? <laughs> Is there a Flabby on Game of Thrones? There might be, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I, I haven't watched Game of Thrones yet. You know why? Why? Because I'm going to watch them all in one go. 
Holy mackerel. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean, holy mackerel? It's not, it's, that's not doing anything. That's like sitting down and watching stuff. Boobies, apparently. Lots of, yeah, intellectual boobies. Intellectual yeah. boobies. And also, you know, a bit of Flavia, I think. You know? <laughs> Flavia's one of the princesses. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't bowing to you. I was doing my Game of Thrones bow. That's my Game of Thrones bow, which I suspect people in Game of Thrones do. Hey, do you remember that uh, the Narnia movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember I watched that movie. I, 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 I like the books of the Narnia, but I didn't care for that movie. I look forward to your angry tweet. But they, uh, <laughs> but they, they had a big uh, half man, half horse in it. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> and, and when he did a bow, he did this. He went like that with his front end. <laughs> Can you do that? No. I, rem I just remember thinking, that was, and that was the movie where the beavers were frightened they were going to drown. <laughs> yeah. And I was yeah. like, beavers live in water. They swim all the time. The beavers are like, quick, get to the other side. Oh, no, because the animals can talk. Yeah, I think the... Look, I think I've got off the yeah, vagina we, Starbucks yeah, story. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, anyway, we're done here. That's, there's your monologue there. That's Our, it? You wrapped that, it up? That's your nonologue for the night. That's it. The nonologue. The nonologue. Yeah. That's what I'm calling it now. Do you have a, you have a nonecdote for us? Why, something that, uh, yeah, something that happened funny, that's not really yeah. that interesting? Yeah, yeah all right. Uh, here we go. Um, over the weekend, uh, like on Saturday, I, uh, I went into uh, the local supermarket, yeah. and uh, who should I see but uh, Tim... Um, what's that guy? Tim, that was, Tim Allen? Tim Allen. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, buying some vegetables. Yeah. And I went, oh, that's it. That's great. That's a great story, man. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, that's, a, that's not really a story, is it's it? Not it's not really a story. You know why I do this? So that when the guests come out, they look good. <laughs> you want to, uh, yeah. that's one yeah. of the things? You can go out like that. What, what? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, no. Yeah. You know why they're, they're, they're applauding? Because they like the idea of hurting zebras. Oh, but you. zebras weren't hurt. No, it was just zebra onesie. That's all it was. <laughs> we'll just do... Well, you want to yeah, sure, I'll do the thing. Yeah. But, because you've not yet discovered the internet, you're still watching The Late Late Show. <laughs> Tonight we're celebrating the beautiful ladies of Scotland. The ladies of Scotland. Um, they're actually sitting in lesbian row, but I'm too frightened to tell them. In case they're not lesbians. I think they heard me. Oh, look, what's this? I found a booger or thing on my... Uh, What's that? What the hell is that, man? I don't know. It was right here. It looked like some kind of cardboard pube. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, well, I, I'll, I'll put it over here in case anyone asks for it later on. <laughs> All right. What, uh... Yeah, yeah. What, uh... Have you been, have you been over here at any point? <laughs> I don't like it when you do that. It looks like you're doing cocaine. Yeah. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Beard? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who once saw Tim Allen at the grocery store, and that's about it. No, when I, I have to say, wait, no. When I say I saw, I saw Tim Allen at the grocery store. Sure. Sure. Right. Grocery store. Yeah. All the vegetables wash up. They there, wash there. up. Yeah. No. I, when I say I saw Tim Allen at the grocery store, <laughs> right. I can't be sure it was him. Okay. So it was maybe just a guy that looked like Tim Allen at Could the grocery been, store. Yeah. That and that makes it less of a story. And yet here we are, still talking about it. Why, Jeff? Because we're desperate. Because we're desperate. <laughs> Anyway, it's tweets and emails time, right? Yeah, no, it's right. I want to do the jingle? Yeah, oh yeah. <coughs> tweets and emails. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, 
Uh, this is from Jeremy in Singapore. Whoa! Beautiful place. You ever been to Singapore? Oh, I've been there. Oh, yeah. Really? What did you think of it? Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Okay, good. Uh, he says, uh, Craig, do you like Singapore? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is from Margo in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. You ever been there? Beautiful place. That's Sioux my Falls. favorite of the South. The, 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 I've got my two favorite Dakotas, North and South, and the South is my favorite Southern one. South is wonderful. <laughs> Margo says, the other night you said that everyone in Sioux Falls likes to shake their ass to sexy music. Just so you know, you were right. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe we should get up there and do a little show. Yeah, that's, yeah. Sioux Falls. Yeah. You ever been to Sioux Falls? What did you do when you were there? Oh, yeah! This is from, uh, from now on, Sioux Falls will be known as the booty shaking capital of America. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lisa in Provo in Utah. You ever been there? Very nice place. <laughs> Good people. Good people. Good people. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, my favorite game show, my favorite show was just canceled. <laughs> All right. Well, that's too bad. I'm sorry for you. Uh, this is from James and Lisa in Watertown, New York. Uh, hello, Craig and Jeff. My wife and I are having a baby boy, and we can't decide whether to name him Marcos or Warren. <laughs> <laughs> Both are family names. What do you think? Well, I don't know. Uh, Marcus or Warren? What do you think, boy, Jeff? Like, boy, big decision. Yeah, that's a big decision. Boy. Marcus, well, Marcus Im implies a, a sort of, uh, and Warren, hmm, Warren, Warren might, wait, I know a joke about, well, you know, it's not, I can't tell you, but Warren implies to me a lot of rabbits. Yeah, yeah. Because that's where rabbits live in a Warren. Warren, yeah. Yeah, and Marcus implies a lot of shoes. Right, like a Melda. Imelda, Imelda Marcus. Marcus, yeah, you get a Melda Marcus, yeah. or, so I'm either thinking rabbits or shoes. I hope that helped. <laughs> <clears throat> this is from Larry in Kew Gardens in New York who says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, my brother just started watching your show and he's convinced you're telling the truth and you're doing the show live. Will you tell him he's an idiot? No, I won't. We are live. For example, the sports results are as they have just been reported. <laughs> Finally, this is from Tammy in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Th oh, that's a lovely Bartlesville. Remember yeah. when we went there? Oh, we had good times there. W where did we go again? We went to that, what was that, the cardboard uh, pube shop? Was that that? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of fun. Dear Craig and Jeff. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm finally moving to L.A. next month to seek my fame and fortune. Any advice on how to get started? If, if I knew, I'd get started myself. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. We were in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a big star. He's the host of the American Idol, which, uh, is that a show? Is yeah, that's, that on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not yeah. familiar with it. So on Wednesdays and Thursdays on Fox, take a look at this. So did you and Man uh, Randy, uh... <laughs> Ryan Seacrest, everybody! I mean, really? Oh, thank you. Thank no, it's but you, you got a you got a real Cary Grant thing going on I, tonight. I, the little uh, I'm not in the half Cary size, but yes. No, that doesn't yeah. matter. What, it, it, no, was he a big man? Cary I don't know, Grant? but I'm half everybody's size. He did a he did a lot of uh, did a lot of LSD, Cary Grant. Oh, really? All right. Do you but, do a lot of hallucinogenic <laughs> drugs? Yes, and I came here to tell you about it. That's all right. <laughs> I think it's good. Yeah, I, any, any advice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you should do is get super high on peyote and host American Idol live. <laughs> you want to see the ratings go 
crazy. There you go. I mean, right. you guys are doing okay. We're, you I know, guess. we're literally just around the block here. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't get out some nights because of your audience. I have to wait here in my little car, waiting until. <laughs> through. I have to wait until everybody gets until out. The I'm like, oh. and fans are cleared. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's, I have to wait until. Because that's the, the, how the ranking works here. It's like you and all the American Idol people, and then the American Idol audience, then the robot, then my audience, then me, <laughs> be the end. <laughs> That's You're it, so. doing great. I'm doing okay. Yeah. I'm doing all right. I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, man. How's the show going this year? Is that really true about the feud with Mariah and uh, Nikki? Is that really a real thing? What, what? It is. It is a real thing. <laughs> what, what feud are you referring to? Wasn't there a feud? Like, like they were like, mm -hmm, and she was like, no, you didn't. Which she was like, yeah. <laughs> That was actually the exact, that was the <laughs> clip right there. Uh, uh, yeah, I, tension maybe? Yeah. 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 I mean, I think, you know, when you're on television in front of millions, there's always the potential for tension. It's surprising that we're getting along so well right now. You uh, and I, right? Well, it's, it's, the no, it's the whole millions thing that got you. Uh, ah. uh, yeah. Yeah. But you used to have a problem. Well, not a problem. I don't know if that's true, but... Didn't you and Simon you used to kind of go at it a little bit in the early days? Yeah, I mean, he and I were very good friends, but it became sport, sort of the volleying back and forth. And we yeah. looked forward to keeping score. And then afterwards, we'd, we'd go and break bread and have dinner. But it would definitely be a competitive thing during the show when he was on. When you have dinner with him, did he do that thing with his arms to try and make him look big? <laughs> well, he... <laughs> you know, he does that, uh, that's rubbish, look at my biceps. This is not, you know, I'm not doing a trick. This is not a trick. I actually work out. I think he's doing that and also covering up how cold he is. Oh, really? <laughs> he wants to get himself a pair of zebra skin suspenders. <laughs> He'll be all right. Listen, so uh, so this year, the, the big show, the winners, it's got to be that one. That, uh, yeah. That's your favorite. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the girl? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I knew you had to think for her. I saw you with three girls earlier. It's, your, it's kind of your speech. Scot you ever, have you ever, you, ever, uh, you ever been with a Scottish girl? <laughs> Have you? No. No, oh, man. Yeah. You Once you get past the icy exterior... <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, I've been... Um, if you can climb the glacier, you can reach the yeah. promised land, is I, what I'm saying. I've, I've only uh, gotten as far as Edinburgh Castle. Well, that's, <clears throat> that's a building. Oh. And <laughs> <laughs> would it would explain some of the scra scratches yeah, yeah, after, yeah, that, yeah. That was, the scratches after the bruises afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> we, why were you in Edinburgh? I, I was, don't know. Uh, I, I, I was at my my grandparents used to live not far, and uh, so my father grandfather was in the military, really? and so he was traveling around always. And uh, there was a summer I went there, and that was one of the the tours that we took. You got to go. That's what everybody says. When you, you go to yeah. Scotland, they say, "Have you been to the castle?" The Edinburgh castle. Yeah. 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 And you go, "Well, which castle?" Because there's a castle every twenty feet. But this Scotland, is the, yeah. the most famous one, isn't it? It is a very famous. Castle, yeah, it's. Uh, I. Uh, what, what, what time, were you there during the Edinburgh Festival? It was uh, years. I was probably you know nine years old years ago. So you were already in the first couple of seasons of Idol there. <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you something. I gotta. I gotta tell you something which I think is amazing. Go on. I well, I knew you were going to be on the show today, and apparently Michael looked us up. You were on the show when Craig Kilborn. Remember Craig Kilborn? Yes. You, well, yes. you were on the show, and I think it was the first season of Idol, and he showed me the notes. Oh, and like this is a young fella named Ryan Seacrest coming on the show, and they, uh, Merv Griffin had been talking about you, and Merv said that you were going to be a big star, and we were like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> what does Merv know? No, God, God, uh, God rest him. I loved Merv. Did late you know Merv, Merv Griffin. I, I knew him well. He was uh, one of my mentors. I actually uh, worked for him. I had auditioned for him and hosted a, a kids' game show many, many years ago. I think it was 19 or 20 years old, and got uh, that gig. And I remember talking to him about, you know, he created Wheel of Fortune, created Jeff. Yeah. And I said, well, like, well, when did you come up with that stuff? And he said, you know, Wheel of Fortune was simple. I was playing Hangman and decided, you know, that would make a great game. Add the wheel, add the, the money, and, and that's what Wheel of Fortune yeah, was. Yeah, but it's the add the wheel bit. You see, he said right. add the Jeez. wheel. And it, oh, my God. Brilliant. Oh, man, he, he died a rich man. I mean, he was super rich. One of those guys. as rich as you, man. He <laughs> like, yeah. he, I mean, he didn't have Kardashian money, but he had money. Yeah. It's, a, it's a fair point. Yeah. He, he, no, he, he really was one of those guys that was just like he was on TV. I mean, everybody loved to be around no, him. He was nice. Fantastic he was a great guest. He was really lovely. And he enjoyed nice. life. Yeah, he did, yeah. Ah, well. Ah. <laughs> we have to take a commercial break. Do right. you do commercials? We do do commercials. We uh, actually like to lead you right up to the point where something good is about to happen, and then we say we'll be back after the break with that. All right. And we don't want to... Yeah. We'll be right back.
I'm here with Ryan Seacrest, who just insulted me during the break, and I don't want to go on with the show. That's, I'm a Serbic. That's yeah, we're I having you know a feud. Oh, you're, 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 you're... No, you didn't. No, yes, you did. <laughs> don't even go there with me, girlfriend. Uh, yeah, it doesn't sound the same. Tighten your weave. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> easy I don't now, even know easy. What that means. I what don't know what it really mean. Listen, we why are you here, up. by the way? Have you any idea what this is? I haven't seen it. This is not bark. This is, yeah, it, this is, it's is like, it hair? It's, it's, I think it's cardboard. I think it's yeah. like a cardboard pew. Uh, why, I, 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 <laughs> why are you ooing? It's cardboard. It's fine. I, anyway. I don't know what that is. Neither do I. I don't think it's hair, though. I think we're safe. Yeah. Uh, do you have a thing about hair? Well, if it were like that, I would. Yeah, you are. I mean, like, are you, are you waxed? Are you completely waxed? Because uh, I am. That's why I'm asking, that's all. You strike me like a waxer. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm completely, I'm not a, I'm like a giant baby under here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not waxed. Oh, you're not? No, I'm not waxed. Well, so you've gone, what, 70s porn? Is that your look? What's... I, know, I, know. I mean, I, I, think, I, I think manscaping is... Uh, all right, yeah. so you kind of like uh, shapes of chickens and yeah, exactly. stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> anything you could do to a shrub. Yeah, no, anything you can do to a shrub. Yeah. Legally. Right. Legally. <laughs> they would in no way harm the shrub. <laughs> well, we're out of time, Rob. Oh, well, this yeah. is... We've, I've got to come back and, and do it again so we can talk about something. Well, you, uh, if you want to talk about something, you'll have to go on a talk show, a proper okay. one. Yeah. I mean, this is not really a proper... You've been on proper ones. This is not really a proper one. Well, this is totally proper. You've got it's, an audience, you've got cameras, you've got... A horse and a, a horse? robot skeleton? A robot. Yeah, I guess. I don't, I, how would this not qualify? I don't know, I know. Hey, uh, how are things going with the Kardashian show? Is everything all right? There? Yes, th th it's going well. Uh, you know, Kim and Kanye expecting. Oh, so right. that's going to be a big event. Is that, is that a show? Is that, is that a, is Kim and Kanye expecting? That's, that a a that's not a series. Oh, right. that's, just, that's a statement. Right, okay. But that's... And uh, will the baby be timed for some kind of sweeps? Or no, I, I, th I, I don't think so. I, I, it's, it's, there's no strategy to this. This was uh, natural. No strategy? No, this? zero. This is not. I don't. Ryan Seacrest, someone's on pants are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a lot of strategy to this. No, no? strategy. No, really? I, they're, you know, they're very happy, and they're going to have their baby. And well, I don't you know, good on, luck to them. I don't I think see. it'll be on TV. I, no, I don't. I don't. I know. I, it will be. You have to talk to them. No, <laughs> no, I good. Good for them. You gotta, you know, hold a little back. Yeah. Well, they, I, you know, I don't know. Have you met, have you had any of them here? Any no, of the Kardashians? No, no, no. no. no, no, no oh, we, oh, do you, why? Have you, no, 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 is, no, not is there at all. something I should know? No, no, everything's fine, man. It, everything's cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I no, go no, I haven't done a thing. I haven't done, occasionally, no, no. I'm a late night guy. Occasionally, I've made a joke about they, it. Are, you, what people should know about, about that family is they are extremely hard workers. I mean, they've built this brand into being an incredible business, and they are very hard uh, okay. workers, what they do. Yeah. yeah. You should know that. So next time you think of them in that monologue, remember. No. I, I, it's They've just like, if you're going to be that, if yeah. you're going to be doing that, if you're going to do a reality show, you know, late night douches like me are going to come after yeah. you. That's just well, the listen, thing. You know? Trust me, I know. I, it, I, well, I'm familiar been with being a target myself. Yeah. Do you know, Mikhail goes after you all the time. Joel is always going after you. Who? Oh, see? Very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, he's, uh, he's on your network. Does he work for you? No. <laughs> I, I, I wish I had the brains to identify him as he was. He's very talented. That's that's the thing. Like he makes fun of you, and he's good at it. Yeah. So no, you have no. to respect it, which means when you watch the joke, you laugh at him making fun of you, which is. <laughs> I know it's not great for self confidence. I, I'm no, I, I'm not worried about you, man. You're gonna be all right. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. It's good to see great. you, Ryan. I'll Thank see you for a while. Ryan Seacrest, everybody. <laughs> Fantastic actress, her new film, Aftershock. <laughs> it's like 3D. That'll be like when The Great Gatsby comes out in 3D, they'll be like, anyone want a drink? <laughs> anyway, Aftershock is in theaters on Friday. Take a look at this. Yeah, nobody in LA wants to see that movie. <laughs> Andreas 
Wonderful, very elegant and beautiful, and dare I say, Hungarian? Yes, that's you right. You are Hungarian, yeah, right? Yeah, Hungary is, you know, the land of talent and beautiful women. Yes! You know? <laughs> wait, wait, we Everybody can't be sure. <laughs> no, I, I've, I've been to Hungary, I know, I've been to Budapest. Oh, wow. Buda and Pest, two separate towns. Oh, did you... No, go, they are. Did you go for the beautiful women? Uh, I took one with me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So I you went on the way there or on the way back. Uh, on the way there and on the way back. <laughs> it was a giant the success. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the same one that I brought too, wow. which is like <laughs> that's good. Um, are you from Budapest? I am from Budapest. Oh, it's a lovely town. You know why in Budapest I had the best coffee I've ever had in my life? Did you? Yeah. That's weird. Is it? You know? <laughs> I lived in Italy for 10 years, so I... Oh, right, well, I, no, I never thought about that. Yeah, Italy, the coffee's a little better, yeah. Yeah. Well, so well it's, I mean, it gets to a point where it's kind of chicken or fish. I mean, you don't really... It, you can't tell. <laughs> okay, what did you like about Hungary? Well, I like the goulash, mm -hmm. and I like the vague threat of Dracula. <laughs> That's, that's part of Hungary, isn't it? Well, yes, that's Transylvania that used to belong to Hungary, and now it's like Romania. Oh, well, that's sorry about that. Yeah, but, but actually a, a Hungarian actor made it famous. Yeah, Bela Lugosi. Bela he Lugosi. Was, yeah, he was... Oh, no, that wasn't Bela Lugosi. Bela Lugosi was that. Yeah. I want to suck your blood. Mm -hmm. I actually, that was not... I just meant that right there when I said that. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you ever played a vampire? No, not yet. That's uh, that'll be it. That's that's going to happen. Now you're in the big aftershock movie. The next thing will be, you know, Twinkly Vampire movie. Yeah, it could be. It's all right, you know, a lot of money in it. Yeah, I have to grow my teeth then. No, you don't. That, they have special things, you know. They just you don't have to actually grow vampire teeth. Uh, no. No. <laughs> I thought so. No. Did you know in? Well, in Hungary, uh, that's where vampires are from, though, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did you ever, ever see? Uh, no, you didn't. No, no, I, didn't. I thought the they place. Really I thought Budapest was very. Uh, it had a very uh, strange atmosphere about it, though. It was quite malevolent. Although I arrived in a thunderstorm, so maybe oh. that's what it was. Oh, it's was great. Okay. It was really lovely. I liked it. And that river that was right down the oh, middle. Oh, Budapest is the most beautiful city in the world. I mean, I'm Hungarian, of course, but. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you yeah, Google that's it, lovely. it's gorgeous. Whereabouts in Italy did you live, though? In Rome. Oh, that's nice. Did you have a little scooter? No, I didn't, because as an actress, you know, I, I, can, I can never take risks, really, so I just walk. No, darling, as an actress, you must always take risks. <laughs> <laughs> must always. I will play the I hooker with a heart of gold. I'll try it. Well, different kind of risks. Yeah. Yeah. Your English is very good, though. Did you learn as a child? No, I actually learned after university. Really? Uh, yeah, because I, I grew up, I had to learn German, then I had to learn Italian, and then I realized I don't speak English, and English is the word language, so I bought audio tapes and, and CDs that yeah. I used to listen to, so that's how I started. And then I came here like three years ago and had a bunch of accent lessons. Oh, right, wow, it's very good. You sound, uh, you know, more American it's than me, really, work. to be honest. <laughs> are, you, are you an American citizen now? No, no, not at all. Yeah. I just got my working visa. Oh, great! Congratulations! Yeah. yeah. It's a big thing for me. It is a big thing. It's a big thing. It, it is a big. I remember when I got mine. I used to have to go down to Tijuana every six months to get my passport scanned. I know. I, I know. It's that's it's true. For me, and and I have to prove more than whatever American actress has to prove because yeah. you know I have to prove that I have value that can be you know added. To work here. Right, to get the work visa, you have to, it's an O-1 visa, yeah. right? So it's a, an artist of special merit and distinction. Called, I was like, it's <laughs> no! Called, <laughs> it's called an alien with extraordinary abilities. Yeah, that's, what, that's what it was, yeah, yeah. And you clearly, I have uh, to prove me, I'm oh. extraordinary. <laughs> that's why I became a citizen. I thought, so I'll you, just be folks. You are extraordinary, yeah. that's right. No, I, I think I was extraordinary enough to sneak my way in, and then that was it. <laughs> So you live in L.A. now then, or New York? I'm on and off. I live a little bit everywhere, but now um, I spend a lot of time again in Budapest because I've been away for 10 years. Right. 
and um, yeah, in November I just decided to spend some time back home because I missed family too much. Yeah, I no. Think I just deserve to to be home a little bit. Yeah, no, I get it. I also I think it's very very nice there. Did you? Uh do you ever had the goulash they've got there? They've got goulash and uh... yeah, but that's kind of a cliche. I mean, what? <laughs> what? I mean, it's a cliche. I mean, that's not the only thing. That's not the most typical thing. Well, what is ever. the most typical thing then? Um, I think women. <laughs> <laughs> or I, I unfortunately wasn't allowed to have one of them while uh, I was there. So you could only have goulash. Yeah, yeah, goulash was fine though. Very tasty. <laughs> You know the Rubik cube? The Rubik Erno Rubik. He yes. was Hungarian. He's yes, Hungarian. yeah. 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 Can you do that? You're famous. Mm, well, when I was little, I cheated a little bit because I, 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 have, I always have to take challenges, but I always have to win them too. So I, I was so angry with myself that I couldn't do it. So I got off the little stickers and, and <laughs> put them back on and showed my mom. Like I was four years old and went, my mom, look, I did it. And she was and she like, said, Oh, I have an actress. <laughs> No, he said, he said, it's a child prodigy! <laughs> well, we're out of time. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, that's rough. So, how do you do it with Hungarian women then? Like, well, I, like I say, I don't know how... Oh, you mean how do you, you end it with Hungarian? say goodbye, yeah. Well, I, um, <clears throat> um, <laughs> well, it's a bit like Scottish women, except they understand me less. <laughs> Who, are the Scottish? No, no, Hungarian woman. I don't speak Hungarian. Do you speak Hungarian? Again. I'm like, if I want to say, well, that's it, good night, uh, or join us after the break, how would I say that in Hungarian? Ennyi volt már a jó éjszakát, gyertek vissza a reklám után. show tonight, Craig. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, as I warm my testicles by the fire, Geoffrey, I, I think back to the times I lived in Scotland. Tell me, Craig, regale me. <laughs> well, I, I lived as a chimney sweep, you know. <laughs> Sounds the hell is that? People are mocking you, Craig. Yeah, they're mocking me. They think I did. I did. I cleaned chimneys as a child and then fought in the war. Then what happened after that? Then I was captured by pirates. By pirates, you mean CBS television. <laughs> All right. Well, let, let's go back and say it again. Well, I didn't work as a chimney sweep. I actually delivered milk. When I say I fought in the war, I actually fought in a bar. And, <laughs> and when I was captured by pirates, I actually came to work at CBS. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Thank you for being honest with me. I appreciate it. Have you ever had Hungarian goulash? <laughs> yes, I have. Was it delicious? Yes, it was. Are we saying code for something else? Yes, we are. Is it... Is it something that someone might write on a Starbucks coffee cup? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone!